Hello my soccer gamers and welcome to the review of the Iberian Peninsula or should I say from the region of stripes and hoops when I just look at the background here and I even have here Betis which is also a striped one so uh, it's kind of always amazing to me when I watch uh, especially La Liga um, I mean I watch less uh, Liga Portugal unfortunately um, how many teams are color white stripes? And then there's Barcelona and Levante, you know, and all the Barcelona clones in, in, in a way. But yeah, I'm wearing another striped team this time around with Valencia, who are very well fit with the theme of this video. Uh, with, we had a few, especially in Spain, we had uh, two major regional derbies with a proper city derby in Portugal. And yeah, all of these stories, of course, had a story. Um, I think the other story, especially in Spain, to me, is that, yeah, I can see why we're still talking about that the top four will end up in the top four, although with uh, Barcelona falling, we may see a change. We may see Barcelona falling out and another team coming in, but I think none of those teams that are kind of sexy names at the moment Real Sociedad or Betis, none of these are going to challenge uh, in any way for the title or uh, securing an uh, early Champions League spot. I would say we start in Portugal with the results, um, which is more or less all that I, I give. I mean, there was the Porto Derby that FC Porto, of course, won rather easily. Um, uh, Diaz and two goals by Eva Nielsen uh, set, the, uh, set, set him on the way. There was an equalizer in the 29th in between. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, it then laid on, uh, it turned into a 4 1 route. So Porto really asserting themselves. Uh, Benfica against uh, ha the promoted team Sturil, who actually were really, really well, uh, are really, really well this season, only a 1 1. So that's kind of a disappointing result. I think this was even a semi final in last season's uh, Tasso de Portugal. Um, and Sporting in another ri rivalry win 1 0 over Vitoria de Guimarães, um, which, you know, I think Guimarães is a little bit falling off. Uh, I think two seasons ago they were right there with Braga and so on, kind of a little bit challenging the top three to make it a top five. But I think it's now more or less a top three. And I think Benfica even needs to kind of uh, dig in to the, to have it remain a top five. So that's it uh, for me from Portugal. There at the moment that I'm shooting this video, the two other games have not even kicked off yet. Um, I'm just looking at next season. Uh, yeah, the next week we end with Benfica against Braga, which is uh, kind of a tricky game for Benfica for sure. And as I said, Benfica needs to get wins if they uh, want a challenge for a title because the other two are very reliably picking up points at this very moment. So let's move to Spain, where Real Madrid didn't have too much trouble, honestly, with Elche. Um, you know, game was kind of plod plodding along uh, until Marian Diaz said uh, to Vinicius Jr., you know, no Benzema, but you know, you get the goal. Then uh, uh, Guti said, 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 said off with a second yellow card, so Elche is down to 10 men. And that was all that was needed for Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr. So really getting into his scoring, uh, kind, of, kind of found his scoring boot. Make it 2-0 that then Mia pulls one back, kind of had a little bit, you know, a little bit of shakes for um, uh, Real Madrid. But overall, it was then a uh, 2-1 win that everyone expected. As I said, I've said it uh, in the midweek and so on. Real Madrid doesn't look convincing, but I think they look solid enough that unless there is major injuries to their starting lineup, I think they're probably the overall best team. Not the most exciting, but definitely the best team. Uh, first derby, Valencia. Huge win over Villarreal. Um, and the big hero is Guillemon, who almost out of nowhere, I mean, this was not a great game. Uh, but out of nowhere, Guillemot just gets past his defender and then sees the goalkeeper coming out and nicely lobbing the ball into the net. More or less as, uh, deciding that there will be the Com Comunidad back then, uh, there. Um, there was, from what I could see in the hand, there was really not much coming from uh, Villarreal and then a penalty. 
uh, that uh, Carlos Soler, who just had come, uh, had, uh, come on a little bit uh, sooner, uh, converted, although Rulli had his feet on the middle, it was right down, down the middle, it hit the feet, but it went through. Huge win for uh, Valencia, who kind of can still maybe hope for Europe. For Villarreal, we already have to get a little bit worried. Uh, they might be, you know, Champions League and La Liga is probably a little bit too much for them. Maybe, may, 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 may not. it's not a good start from Villarreal. It's a team that needs to start clicking at some time, which is also the same thing we can say about Barcelona. I mean... I don't want to say another Barcelona horror show, but in a way it was. I mean, there was really not much in the first half. Uh, you could see how disjointed the team is. Then once they have a little bit of speed and they play it nice and the pie gets out a great shot and it is 1-0 for Barcelona. Do you think, yeah, liberation, one can breathe easy, uh, maybe we'll get a win against, Al Al against an Alaves team that is potentially among the releg relegated teams. However, those the Alaves can also play and uh, had a really nice attacking move that then Rioja, uh, uh, Jose Lu, you know, uh, back heels it in, 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 into the path of Rioja, who just takes it uh, over to uh, around Ter Stegen. And in the 50 seconds, three minutes later, it's 1 1. And Barcelona has no idea how to come back. And that is a big indictment. Barcelona desperately in a need for a break. Um, the good thing is you have one more league game and then maybe you can uh, maybe get Xavi Hernandez, although I said it before, I wouldn't find this the best appointment as of yet, but you know, someone new or some new ideas are needed. Um, new ideas are not needed for Atletico Madrid, who in a, what, was, what started out to be a very open game between uh, Atleti and Betis, then quickly took control with Carrasco being uh, probably the best player on the pitch. But also overall, I mean, Griezmann was good. Uh, there were many, it, it, it was a really a revelation of how well this uh, Atletico Madrid were, team were clicking. And the goal that uh, Carrasco takes, I mean, he has the ball on his foot, takes it to, to, to the other side and yanks it in the near corner up there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful goal. To set Atletico Madrid on, on on the way when it probably should have been even more. Uh, they had then a uh, second half a goal uh, disallowed for a uh, frag fraction offside. I, I, th I think Griezmann even uh, tried to lob the goalkeeper. Was not allowed for off was disallowed for offside. So it was kind of hanging there. Uh, in the end, it's a Pizzella own goal that sets Atletico Madrid on the way, which is kind of a little bit cruel, but on, on the other at that time, it was more than deserved. And then Joao Felice comes on, and 10 minutes later, after Carrasco assist, also scores his first goal on, of, of, of the season. And even with Diego Samione up in the stands, that Atleti looking, maybe for the first time this season, really, really good and convincing. If they can preserve this, Maybe what, what, what I said about Real, Real Madrid is not, not true. Maybe they can challenge Real Madrid. Although, as I said, for me, Real Madrid is the more solid. Uh, you know, they don't slip up as often. They just get the wins at the moment. However, if Atletico Madrid continues to dazzle and shows uh, what they have been showing now, it will be fun. Although, I think it was easy because uh, Betis is also kind of a forward-playing team. It's not one that um, shuts up shop in many ways and then we had the big basque derby where it really looked for the longest time that um, i mean it was not a great game it was played in rain uh kind of a little bit of a drab affair here here, here in the chances i had always a kind of uh, half an eye on, on the game because i was watching of course roma milan uh but von waldegger say uh wrestled that uh, Controlled the game, then they got a just penalty that Isaac converts, and not much ha ha happening. Uh, there was an even yellow red in the 80 84th for Martinez from Athletic Club, and you're thinking, yeah, okay, they're gonna, uh, uh, they're gonna bring this home safe. And then Athletic Club have to always admire the fighting spirit. They get a free kick on the edge of the box that Ika Munoin takes, and for some reason. Uh, a goalkeeper tries uh, Ramiro. Yeah, uh, Ramiro uh, tries to f punch it and it doesn't get there. To it. He gets into a weird angle and it goes under the bar and in a 
was not necessary. I think he probably could, could, could have tried to even save, save, save it. The way he needed to control his body was a clear goalkeeping mistake, a goal that should never have been scored. And got Athletic Club a big win that uh, almost then they were, they, they, they were going for a second there for the win as well. But you know, uh, the problem for Ramiro is that in the midweek, uh, the reserve goalkeeper played and he played so well. But everyone said maybe he should start and now Ramiro is back and he makes it howl. Yeah, you can see where this is going. So yeah, the other regional derby ends with a 1-1 draw, kind of disappointing. And also again, Real Sociedad, although they stay top with that, with the game, 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 game in hand uh, of all the others, uh, that lead is by far not as <laughs> comfortable. It doesn't look comfortable at all, but, 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 but no, they, they are not really in the lead there as well. Um, we do have a couple of interesting games coming up. Uh, Celta Vigo against Barcelona uh, is one. Then we have a Madrid derby between Real Madrid and Rai. I think it's a sleeper game. Then we have a big name game. We have Valencia and Atletico Madrid. And then we have a Seville Derby to tip it or top it all off. Uh, where a very exciting Betty side is meeting a Sevilla side that it does not really dazzle many times but gets the win. So that was it from me from, as I said, the Iberian Peninsula. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below if you want to add anything to what was happening in these leagues. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.